brief introduction on the installation technique of Gen Weld Mark II. This is how when you open the box you have the intraoral user manual for Gen Weld Mark II. All the details about installation, about use and various other aspects of the welder are mentioned into this catalog or into this manual. You see this compartment has the hand grip for welding. It has a power cord, it has a foot switch and it has the cable to connect the hand grip to the machine. After you remove this compartment is the welding machine which now we will remove and connect on the frame front side of the general mark 2 is the display screen it is totally a touch screen on the back of the machine we have a lighted switch and the socket for the power cord and on the side of the machine as you can see there are two sockets to connect the cable of the hand grip and below is the socket for the foot switch. To connect the foot switch you see this male extension and you see a matching receptor there. You coordinate the two and just have to push it. Goes in with a click. Then we are going to connect the cable. Uh, it does not matter if it goes up to down or left or right because it just has to complete the circuit uh, for the welding cycle. This one also has a notch and there's a matching receptor. Please coordinate the two, push it inside and as you can see I am turning it to the right to lock it into place. Yeah, make sure that it is securely connected. Then you take the second one, also just a moment, yeah, uh, yes, so, so coordinate the two and turn it clockwise till it is fastened. In order to connect the hand grip to the welding cable arm, unscrew these two attachments here, insert this and tighten it. Tighten it so that it is secure and also there is a two flat parts here where you can even use a spanner if you need to tighten it more. Also on the other side, I just do it with my hand and make sure it is securely fastened. Does not matter. Okay, which goes where. So the machine is now connected, excepting for the, the power cable to connect the power cord. Uh, I would like to point out that the machine comes with a European plug. Please note that the earthing or the grounding mechanism is different and it is also different in different countries. Make sure to avoid any electrical shocks that you have connected this machine correctly to the main power line. So you also get some kind of adapters which will connect the earthing line here to your earthing, to your circuit. Yeah. So once you put on the machine, this is the display that comes in. Now it is asking you diameter selection, whether you are going to weld the 1.2, 1.5, 2 millimeter bar, flat bar. Also you can make it custom. You can customize and add your selection and calibrate the machine accordingly. So let us say that I am now going to weld a 1.2 millimeter bar. Then it asks me whether the abutment is empty, means I'm, am I welding two hollow components or it is solid. Now in this case, I am going to weld titanium bar. Okay, so I am going to choose the selection solid. But before I select that, also if you look down here, okay, there are two other compartments here which allows you to preset or pre-calibrate the machine to different energy levels. All the details you will find it in the catalog. So let us say now I am going to do abutment solid. Within this, you see here is a bar which I can take it to the left, I reduce the power energy level and I can take it to the right to increase the power level factory set I think is mostly coming to around 50% so let's keep it there and when you're welding and when you see that your expectations are met or not met and if you want something different 
you can change the energy levels at each diameter. So now we have diameter 1.2 abutment, solid, set here, okay? Next, can you read here two pulses? Change, one pulse, change, two pulse. Personally, I prefer to run the machine on two pulses. What is the difference? The difference is when you run it at one pulse, when you press the foot switch, at one go, all the energy is delivered and titanium is welded. When I will change it to two pulses, it means the energy is going to come in two pulses. The first pulse will preheat immediately and automatically. The second pulse will come, which will raise the temperature of the titanium bar to fusion or melting point and the welding is done. Below is ready. When the machine says ready, means now it's all set to do the welding process, okay? Now I take these two titanium bars. I will now take the hand grip. When you're holding it, when I press this hand grip, it's spring loaded. And when I press here, the beak end opens. Then in the copper electrode, I'm going to hold the, the part that is going to be welded. Now please make sure that you keep those beaks or the copper electrodes very clean. Also make sure that you hold the two components to be welded correctly in center position. Also very important, after you held the parts together, release the hand grip. Okay, a common mistake most, what most people keep when they are holding it, they are pressing this. And when you are pressing it, you are creating a small gap here. And when you are creating a gap here, when you start the welding process, there will be a spark because there is an open air space. So make sure that you just hold the hand grip like this and not press it. So now, I will go to the foot switch and I will press it only one time. Okay, so this welding has happened and I got the second one. Did you hear the two, two beeps? When you press the, uh, the foot control, you get the first beep showing that the welding cycle has started and when the welding cycle gets completed, you hear two beeps. Alright, now after the welding is over, all this recommended that you keep it holding for another one second or so because the parts to be welded are kept under still under pressure because synchronization crystallization is happening then oh I was holding all this and you see there's no heating and everything it's welded perfectly well now you can see this part is very securely welded okay very securely welded so it is important that once you press the foot switch you have to press it only one time don't keep it pressed just press and release the foot switch and while the welding cycle is happening, do not try to open the clamp or something, okay? Yeah, so this was just a very brief introduction to the installation and use of the machine. For more details, please refer to the user manual of GenWeld Mark II. Uh, thank you so much.